First stop. Huge fan of your award-winning character-driven war movies. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, hey, how about making one that's so intense it'll give the audience PTSD? Get ready for the best elevator pitch ever given in an elevator. Picture this. An elite Beckham team. They're fucking lighting up the undead on a dilapidated bridge. They're isolated, surrounded by water, but they give no fucks because they're the best. Yeah, we fucking rock! Eat shit, zombies, scum! <laughs> Killing zombies? Yeah, they can do that all day. With the right support, of course. But sometimes, support fucks up. Supporting. Oops. You guys dropped us on the wrong side! I'll send my guys ahead! We're gonna need ammo! What happens when the bullets run dry and mission annihilation turns into mission survival I? Only way we're gonna live is by surviving! Hmm, a war where the enemy's already dead. That's half interesting. Okay. This might be a little bit more of a challenge. The hero has to get to the ammo drop. Or else they die and become the enemy. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm seeing this. and the 101 fucked each other. This bridge would be the offspring. So it's moving backwards. Oh, yay. Psych. at the source of the zombie outbreak. No humans around, right? No dialogue, okay. just a zombie massacre. Just a zombie massacre? <laughs> There's these mutation stations and goo and mayhem. So I gotta destroy the mutation stations again. Great. Gas 
Yes. And now it's a road of fire, baby! But what does this mean to the hero? Uh, the fire represents the, the, their anger issues. It's, instead of dealing with it, they're, they're avoiding it? Okay. Okay. Okay, so then there's a flipped train. <gasps> Wait a minute. It's a, it's a fucking flipped gas tanker! The, the explosion will make people shit themselves! Something about the main character? We are! They know how to explode things! Okay! Didn't know that before. Obviously. The hero's gotta find a way down. If you were to put the story beats on a graph, this would be the low point in the movie and literally the bridge. In my career. You say something? Nope. Now, the hero finds themselves with literally nowhere to go. Literally. Maybe we can hear the hero's inner monologue. There's despair, loss. Or they can just use a cool grappling hook! <laughs> and our hero sees a giant cage. What was in it? Maybe the cage can remind the hero of their time as a prisoner of war. Oh no. Oh, I'm missing all my shots. No, Pappy, don't. Interesting. Oh shit. How are you so fast? Okay, cool. Come on behind me too. The hero sees that a zombie has turned their buddy into an all-you-can-eat buffet. And how does this make the character feel? Hopefully it grows the fuck out. Oh, these are incendiary shots. Oh shit! Not what I meant to do. Well, I mean, I meant to go down there, just not get stuck. Hey! I'm so trapped, aren't I? I said stop. Sir, ma'am, ma'am, I'm gonna have to ask you to stop. Oh, I'm dead. I got stuck there. I could not move to save my life. Whew. Okay. <laughs> you died during your own pitch. Come on. That's hilarious. Well, geez. I just had two shotguns. I should have kept that SMG. Am I going to have to restart all over again? Oh, I do. Man. Okay. Our hero has to get to the ammo drop. Or else they die and become the enemy. Okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm seeing this. All right, now I know what to do. Fuck each other. This bridge would be the offspring. So it's moving back. Okay, cool. So our hero goes by the corpse of a squad mate. Next to him is a sweet ass weapon. You're focusing on the weapon and not the fallen comrade? Oh, our hero knew this guy would be the first to go. Man, he is explaining so many DLCs in real life.
I don't see what weapon he was talking about, but okay. I'm not even gonna stress. Okay, so the hero's at the source of the zombie outbreak. No humans around, right? No dialogue, just a zombie massacre. Just a zombie massacre? <laughs> There's these mutation stations, and goo, and mayhem! Yep, a lot of mayhem. Something about the main character? We are! They know how to explode things! <laughs> the hero's gotta find a way down. If you were to put the story beats on a graph, this would be the low point in the movie and <laughs> the bridge. Uh, in my career. You say something? Nope. What? Oh, I didn't make the jump? Now, the hero finds themselves with literally nowhere to go. Literally. Maybe we can hear the hero's inner monologue. There's despair, loss, or they can just use a cool grappling hook! And our hero sees a giant cage. What was in it? Maybe the cage can remind the hero of their time as a prisoner of war. Sure, and the zombies here represent, I, I, I don't know, the, the, the people they saw die. Interesting. Right here, the hero sees that a zombie has turned their buddy into an all-you-can-eat buffet. And how does this make the character feel? Hopefully, grows the fuck out. What? You made me switch out my SMG for that shit? Is that a rainbow character? That's a rainbow character. Y'all, y'all, y'all got me fucked up on this one. Risking that. No way in hell. Okay, 
So the hero has to cut through a homeless hideout inside the bridge. Zombies are there having a freaking zombie feast. What are you trying to say here about the homeless issue? Uh, that homelessness is, is bad. Really going out on a limb with that, huh? Good luck. Homelessness is a real important issue for me. I want everyone in the world to have a home and a shelf filled with Blu-rays of all the movies I make. Yes. That's... That's so stupid. Secret? Ah! Found med kits. That means it's coming towards the end. Okay, so. And then the main character gets to the ammo drop, and there's the. Da -da! <laughs> a new gun! One more character? How about a fucking zombie oh. character? Boom! Plot twist! Okay. In your bite your face, zombie! Alright, so. Oh, fuck that! That is a. That's Harambe! That's Harambe! <laughs> Y'all, don't be making fun of my mans over here. No, Harambe, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, shitty titty. Okay, okay. You need to chill, bro. Oh, shit. Dude, don't play at all. Ooh, ooh, he is angry. So the Sasquatch is fucking toast. <laughs> That's cool, right? It ends on a duel with a monster. No, our hero sees a way out. Turn into Tachanka here. What's that? More zombies. All right. All right. <laughs> LMG mountain and loaded. Oh shit. Okay, they all gotta still get over the barricade. It's all good. Yep. This is usually Tachanka's kill me too. Oh man, it's hot. And cool down! Yeah. Oh shit! Get off, get off, get off! Do I just keep going? I don't feel like I should keep going. challenge in my opinion. The first one was easy. Alright, you know what? I'm pushing. 
pushing. So, the hero sees a checkpoint. It's the end. Or is it? Bah, bah, da. Use it, please. Okay. This is a bit of a challenge, I will say that much. But damn, these zombies just keep spawning. Who sees our hero as just another zombie? Bam! Headshot. Roll credits. Wow! Seems heavy on the action and light on character development. Speaking of development, ah, uh, how about a development deal? How about you leave now and I won't press charges? <laughs> that's that's hilarious. skeptical about this one. No lie. Yeah, I, I'm really skeptical because I don't know how the fuck you're going to have a love story inside of a zombie. A zombie little timeline. Zombie little timeline. I hate that I had to hit kill Harambe though. Harambe doesn't deserve that. the number one chick flick director in Hollywood. I think of them as sprawling romantic epics. You need to branch out. I got an epic supernatural love story for you. Picture this. We rip off Romeo and Juliet and set it in a zombie-filled world. Huh, that's halfway original. Romeo's gang is turbo-pissed and grabs him. They put him in a coffin. They're gonna bury him alive, not because he banged the enemy, but because he fell in love. Romeo's gonna die and turn into a limp dick zombie! The ultimate punishment! Juliet's like, Look at that shit! I'm going to waste it! She's kinda hot, no lie. I won't deny it. I like the hair. Okay. So. <laughs> this dude is a little bit weird. So, Juliet has to fight her way through the graveyard. Because Romeo is being buried alive by his own gang. I got it. Kill a bird, kill a bird. Oh, so I gotta kill people this time. Yeah, the whole thing is gonna be set in this big spooky ass graveyard. These supernatural love stories always seem so silly to me. Oh There's shit. No laughs here. That, look, this thing has brain thirsty zombies oh, hey, hey, trying hey. to eat Juliet. I have to ask y'all to calm the fuck down. All of y'all need to calm the fuck down. Okay. I'm just gonna keep running. Shovel round? Wait, are you kidding me? Okay. Don't tell me you get the shovel launcher. Sweet. 
so I was going the wrong way. Okay. Am I? I'm confused. Oh, yeah, I was. The graveyard's like a perfect place for my Hitchcock style cameo. It'll be a statue. That's an expensive cameo. How can you put a price on art? This is. <laughs> There's a reason why some movies just don't make it, and this is why. Like we do all these uh, these little romantic moments all over the graveyard. Do people think romance in a graveyard? Fuck yeah, man! It, uh, come on, it's something in our reptile brains. See death, think about making life. How do you make life? <laughs> <laughs> this dude is this dude is something else. He really is. Okay, whatever. Oh. straight through them. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Apparently that won't work. Let's shut him in the pee hole. Whee! Okay. You just, you know what? I'm tired of this. Y'all need to sit the fuck down, sirs and ma'ams. Oh, did I just assume gender? I'm sorry. Back the fuck up. Whoa, what the hell was that? Sit down. Thank you. Okay. You know what? Just slap my behind, why don't you? That's just so rude. Oh, what? Fuck off. Oh, I th thought I was gonna hit you in the head, but okay. Okay, mate. Sit down. Yes, I'm going to take the AK any day. It was, today was a good day. I didn't have to use my AK. We have these big zombies. Behemoths. They throw pots and have jacked up arms. Basically, what? Oh, hell no. Oh, you got me fucked up on this one. Oh, shit. I didn't know y'all run so fast. Alright, let's do this like Black Ops zombies start training them. And then there's this cool part where Julia remembers that she hid something sentimental nearby. So she uses her grappling hook to get it. Grappling hook? What? Why? Because grappling hooks make everything more badass! Huh? Okay, so where's this thing that I gotta grab? Oh, I think I might see it. Something else, sir. Then 
again, we see mutation stations. An evil corporation made Where? to reanimates the dead. How is that for pizzazz? To me, fluff like this really distracts from what's really just a simple story of two people. I'm trying to make the whole two lovers against all odds thing more against all odds -y. Okay, so... Where's that section I gotta grapple at? I'm really trying to find it, but... Oh, what was that? You just threw a turret at me? Kill you. <laughs> okay. I just shat on your mom. There you go. You exploded. Oh, I see. Sentimental? Sentimental. Apparently. I just tossed the uh, 9 11. Or 19 11, sorry. Do I. How do I get out of here? Sit down, sirs and ma'ams. stuff I can't walk on like it's lava or something. Fuck. Y'all are throwing me off. I 
I'm gonna have to ask y'all to chill. Hey, there's the last one. Oh, cool. Suck my. Oh, cool. God, they just keep coming, dude. Okay. standing between the lovers is a church okay let me guess Juliet has to climb over it using her superpowers nice idea but I want it to be more grounded in reality there'd be scaffolding all around the church her lover's coffin and the gang trying to bury him let me guess she has to kill them all exactly we are totally on the same wavelength my man oh And he's a zombie. M. Night Shumalan, baby! 
Romeo is a mashup of all the monsters you can think of. The, the, the dude's ugly as fuck, but love oh. conquers all. <laughs> this story can only come from the mind of an old virgin. Whoa, 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 whoa. I am a lot of things, but I ain't no virgin. And I'm not old. I just don't store Botox every day like you. Oh, look. Security. <laughs> ah, I was just about to leave, asshole. Jesus. <laughs> I actually like that one. That's that's hilarious. Oh my. That that was uh that was definitely a a game. Okay. I I'm liking these, honestly. This one was good. It was a little bit of a pain in the ass because they had a shit ton of zombies. But this one I liked. I liked how they implemented that. Well, I guess I'm just going to go ahead and do two per video. Because I feel like that would work 20, 25 minutes to 30 minutes, I would guess. Alright, so if y'all like that, go ahead and hit the like button. If you, um, question mark, haven't yet subscribed. And I will see you in the next one. We'll be doing Escape from the Rooftop and Killer Climate. Ooh, that should be fun. This one, these two are going to be interesting. The Fast and the Fiendish. But I will see y'all guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.